Hello, so, king and queen in the building. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Legacy Birth. Thank you guys for taking time from your little one to both be here today. I don't think we've ever had a couple on Legacy Birth before. Well, it's the first time every day. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, speaking what? of first, you guys had an unassisted birth, which that alone must have been the first for your family. Was it the first as well? It was. Yeah. Nice. So what was the deciding factor in deciding to have an unassisted birth? Um, I've had experiences in the past um, that just weren't as pleasant in the hospital. And I also just, uh, I wanted to do unassisted birth in the past and I just didn't have the support. So I wasn't very knowledgeable about unassisted births. Like at that time, there was not a whole lot of information on doulas. Um, midwives and stuff like that. So the traditional route was just to go to a hospital. However, this time there's a lot more information out there um, about support systems and stuff like that. And this time and my partner was supportive. My family was even supportive. I'd like to know, so were you always supportive or was there like something, a process that you went through in your head to finally come on board? Or what was that process like for you? So for me, it was, I mean, off top, it was really, we were 100% into it, 10 toes. So whatever it is that she wanted to do, you know, I definitely was on board with it. Um, you know, naturally, you know, you're gonna have your your own, uh, you know, barriers, right? But at the end of the day, you know, we realized it's a team effort, right? So, um, you know, you sacrifice your thoughts in order for the betterment of the team. And so, you know, I was, I was, hey, you wanna do it, let's do it, you know? I was I was worried about oh my god it's gonna stink or it's gonna, <laughs> you know, water's gonna be crazy bloody but, <laughs> but once again you know, you put you put aside your your own thoughts for the better of the team so you know once I realized that, that that's what you really wanted to do man let's do it. That's very deep because I think there are a few men that struggle with that process of letting their queen really give birth undisturbed because of their own fears. Mm -hmm. And so it was honestly, it's so nice to see that you supported her and made that journey so much more easier for her. And even your reaction, you didn't even know that the head was coming out, did you? Okay, the water. Ah. Oh, she's in the water. Oh, shit. So here we go about that. Okay. <laughs> and so one thing that I'll I'll tell you know the brothers out there and who are going along with this adventure, you will experience every emotion, you will experience every feeling, you know, everything that you know your partner is going through, you'll if you guys are really in tune to each other, you'll feel that too. And so it's been times, you know, during that process, during the live birth process, where we were, I mean, sleep. <laughs> you know, we were tired, we were, uh, we were anxious, we were, you know, all the above, X, Y, and Z, right? Pick a letter. Um, and so at the time, you know, the head was starting to um, to emerge. Obviously, she's, she's alert, but, you know, I'm still right behind her, like, going through that emotion of, you know, sleep, like, oh my God, like, ah, uh, ah, uh, right? So when Dula, uh, she was like, look, the head's, you know, the, it's crowning, right? And so, did I get the word right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, it's crowning, it's crowning, it's crowning. I'm like, huh, huh, huh. oh, shoot, yeah, you're right. <laughs> so, you know, I, I didn't realize because I was still in, in, that, in that part of, you know, where we were both just, you know, kind of sleep. <laughs> a lot of people were even commenting like, oh, I didn't even know there was, the head was coming out. Like no one had an idea because you you had little smiles, little peaks of smiles <laughs> going here and there. Was it always your plan King to go in the water right when the head was emerging or was that just your instinct? Ooh. And 
instinct kicked in. Yeah, um, it, it was. But we had tried to we tried to get in the water. It was too early. Yeah. But I just oh, okay. I, I just felt like the contractions would be easier if I got into the water. What was the toughest part that you would say for your unassisted birth? It, I, I, I can honestly say it, it was not a tough part. Um, I was, I feel like my doula had prepped me for what my body was about to go through. So it wasn't really a tough part. I understood the assignment completely. <laughs> um, <laughs> I just had to execute it. Um, my doula was constantly reminding me like, you know, to talk to the baby and tell him that it's okay for him to come now, he's safe. Um, everything is calm and it's, it's time for him to come out. So I just, there wasn't really a tough part. Um, I feel like everything was so easy this time. Wow. And what would you say is was the easiest part? Surprisingly, the easiest part was him crowning, like his, his head. <laughs> see how calm I was? I could, and when I watched the video back, I, I got emotional because I never actually really sat there and like watched the video until I was editing. I got emotional. Like wow, I was extremely calm. Like every, I just felt like um, my doula and Donovan had just put like a warm blanket around me to let me know that everything was gonna be okay. So the easiest part was when he, you know, started crowning and the head started coming out, I felt extremely at ease. <laughs> oh. Wait, wait, wait. He is so cute. I can't keep my eyes out of it. Hi, Munchkin. Say hello. <laughs> so breast milk, correct? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes. He's so chunky for three months. Yeah, he's and he'll be three months on the 22nd. He's not even there yet. He almost looks like the size of like five to six. I, I, how many times do I say that a day? I said, why does he look like a six month old baby? Yes. <laughs> what What's something that you can say to a partner who wife wants to have an unassisted birth, but he's a little bit hesitant or he has a little bit of fear? So I would say definitely uh, not ignore it. So deal with the first, right? And so sometimes we'll be tend to do as just humans in general, right? We want to naturally block out what naturally a fear is, right? And so we realize and we take away the the value of it, but subconsciously it's still there, right? And so it naturally is going to come out. So I feel that if you deal with the fear, if you deal with your apprehensions beforehand, right? And you talk, talk with your partner, talk with your queen about it. Um, and then, you know, you talk with your doula, your midwife, X, Y, and Z, and then, you're able to actually deal with it, right? And then once, once again, you put it away, then once you put it away, then you can go over the process. You, you, it leaves you with a clearer head. So deal with the fears, deal with the apprehensions. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. <laughs> so thank you guys so much is there anywhere where everyone can find you yes my youtube channel is uh the brown greenery and we are on instagram at the brown greenery um and we have of course the personal pa personal pages uh at crazy plant lady um <laughs> we do have a as well, so www.thebrowngreenery.com. We can go and purchase plants. <laughs> um, anybody that's looking to, um, I guess, find me on IG, it's uh, Donnie V81, so D O N N Y V and then 81 at uh, IG.com. Perfect. Thank you guys so much for being here. It's just so been. refreshing. You guys are a beautiful, beautiful black family. I love the painting on the wall. I love everything that you guys are doing, so keep it up. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We inspire women to manifest the birth of their dreams. So click that red juicy button down below, down below. It says subscribe, it says subscribe. And I'll see you beautiful queens in the next video.
Thank you.